Welcome to Fossil Linux Journal, ladies and gentlemen, your host for Fossil Linux content here on YouTube. In August 2022, I published on my other YouTube channel in German language a long-term test of Ubuntu 22.04 after about four months of use. In the video I mentioned that I would stick with Ubuntu 22.04 for the time being and see where the journey takes me. I can say that this journey has continued to this day. But after more than two years with Ubuntu 22.04, I would like to give a detailed review. Ready? Then here we go. Two years ago, after years with Debian and Elementary OS, I decided to switch to Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. With the promise of stability, security and a user-friendly experience, I was excited to see how Ubuntu 22.04 would perform in my everyday life. In this review I share my long-term experiences, the ups and downs and the key points that make Ubuntu 22.04 LTS a reliable choice for many users. Let me give a quick overview of my customizations. During the installation, I replaced the Extended 4 file system with ButterFS. ButterFS allows me to create rollback able system snapshots using the additional tool TimeShift and should not be missing on any system in my house. I am critical of the closed source distribution model of Snap Container technology. For this reason, I have completely removed Snap from the system. I set up the competitor Flatpak as a software container technology and set up FlatHub as a package source. I installed several apps on top of it, including Nextcloud Client, Spotify, Ungoogle Chromium and LibreWolf Browser. I obtained software such as Keepass XC via the in-house PPA package source. I have further secured the system with a free Ubuntu Pro subscription so that I can get security updates for other programs from the Universe repository. A Samba share is integrated into the system which is mounted via an FSTAP entry. These modifications make my Ubuntu 22.04 system different from an off-the-shelf Ubuntu 22.04 system. Ubuntu 22.04 has proven to be extremely stable and reliable for me over the past two years. The system runs on an HP EliteBook notebook and everything works. Close the device, it sleeps. Open it, the system wakes up again and is immediately available. Every day of the week until a kernel update requires a reboot. Access to the Samba share always works smoothly even after standby. The fan control is absolutely flawless. The device is quiet and the fan can only be heard under full load, but then it's clearly audible. The performance was impressive, even on this hardware, and Ubuntu runs smoothly without delays. There were no pauses, hangs, crashes and the like during the entire time. GNU Linux kernel 6.5 is currently in use via Ubuntu hardware enablement stack. Ubuntu 22.04 provided me with quiet operation over a long period of time and at the same time reminded me of my long time with Debian Stable. The maintenance effort is comparable in everyday life. The system runs and purrs reliably as already explained. No problems. Ubuntu Pro somewhat alleviates the issue of no guaranteed patches in Universe and Multiverse as Ubuntu Pro offers patches for the Universe repository. Only Multiverse remains open in status, still an improvement compared to before. The significant low point with an LTS version of Ubuntu is the aging of the packages due to the LTS mode. When a security vulnerability was found in Flatpak in April 2024, Debian for example updated very promptly and patched the Flatpak version. With Ubuntu I made do by including the Flatpak PPA which was used to install a newer version without the vulnerability. A standard Ubuntu 22.04 system receives Flatpak 1.12.7 as the end of July 2024. As far as I know, it needs Flatpak 1.12.9 to close this gap. This is currently not offered for Ubuntu 22.04. The CVE entry does not show a solution for Jemmy. This is the code for Ubuntu 22.04.
On the one hand, it's not untypical for an LTS version that new versions are not rolled out, but Debian has managed this with a patch for stable and on the other hand, who is surprised if Canonical does not provide much support for Flatpak under Ubuntu. After all, it's a direct competitor to the in-house snap format. All in all, however, disappointing in my eyes. I have already talked about the advantages of Ubuntu Pro. It's a bit strange that you need Ubuntu Pro to get more security updates. Many will find it difficult to understand why this is necessary and why the patches are not simply available as standard with LTS. This is how you want to make Ubuntu Pro palatable. Many other manufacturers have shown that if you get people into subscription models and get them used to it, they will probably be more willing to pay for it after all. But currently you can get Ubuntu Pro for free for up to 5 systems or instances. Anyone who needs more will be asked to pay. Even today Ubuntu is probably still the Linux distro with the most users and therefore the most widespread. In any case the Ubuntu community is still large. There are countless forums, websites and YouTube videos that still deal with Ubuntu today. Therefore the Ubuntu community can also be counted on in the second half of 2024. Hardware connected to my system, such as a Logitech webcam or my network printer, runs as standard without any major innovation. I don't have any hardware that is not recognized and integrated into the system without any problems. The hardware support here is excellent in my eyes. App availability is still very high, but some apps are only available via Snap. Under Ubuntu 2204 the most prominent candidate was Firefox. It is no longer available as a Debian package. With Ubuntu 2404 for example Thunderbird is also available as a snap instead of a Debian package. I openly admit that I have some mixed feelings about the future of Ubuntu. The transformations from the Debian package format to snap will continue. Ubuntu Core is an immutable distro that is snap only. Ubuntu 2404 will also have such a model, at least that was the plan at one time. However, I am sure that Ubuntu 2604 will be the first version to come with snap only and perhaps also offer a Debian package as a secondary version. And if not with Ubuntu 2604 then with Ubuntu 2804, let's not kid ourselves. Canonical does not prepare snap for years and then not get serious when they are technically ready. At the latest, that is the time when I would be out of Ubuntu from the current perspective. But until then, you have to put more and more effort into providing your system with apps in Debian package format. That makes me wonder, why? Why not use just Debian Stable again or something else like OpenSUSE Leap or Fedora or something else? After all, there is plenty on offer. And I have to admit, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Because Canonical will soon be releasing Ubuntu 2404.1. With the first point release, the upgrade path for the previous LTS version will be officially opened. You don't have to do the upgrade, but it's getting closer. A point where I'm thinking, do I go with Ubuntu 2404 or do I look for something new? Ubuntu 2404 left a very solid impression as an LTS version in my test. If you are interested, you already know, in the description is the link to my Ubuntu 2404 test. So my open thought is not to badmouth Ubuntu 2404. My open thought is, do I keep doing the extra work to fix the canonical snap problem or do I go with another solution that doesn't have the problem where I don't have to build crutches around snap? I still have to solve this question for myself. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. You can just pause the video and when you have sent the comment, keep watching, no problem. Ubuntu actually has a canonical problem. That's how I could put in with all the polemics. But that would be generalized and unhelpful. I have felt in good company with Ubuntu 2204 for the last two years. The system delivered results when it mattered. These were consistency, stability and reliability. 
Not many can do that in this form. I would say that apart from the Ubuntu forks, I can only think of Debian Stable and OpenSUSE Leap that could keep up in terms of stability and reputation. In terms of the overall support period, nobody can hold a candle to Ubuntu, because I can extend the 5 years LTS support period by 7 years with a free Ubuntu Pro subscription, so that Ubuntu 2204 will receive security updates until 2034. I don't plan on using this version for that long, but on a server farm or desktops in a business, such long support periods are extremely good for planning and valuable. If you use Ubuntu and, like me, have a problem with Snap, there is still a solution. If you don't have a problem with Snap or like it, all good. Then you can use Ubuntu without hesitation. Even if you are new to the Linux world, I still would recommend Ubuntu to the masses. The Snap issue is more of a philosophical question that drives those who have either been around for a long time or who are passionate about open source and the transparency derived on it. Then you can take a critical look at Snap's closed source distribution infrastructure. If you simply want an efficient solution, you don't need to bother with Flatpak or Snap for the time being. You can either do this at an unspecified later date or not. Snap is not a so-called showstopper. For now, I'm staying on this system with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. I'm currently leaning towards giving Ubuntu 24.04 a chance and hope that the changes I have made will be retained without interventions. However, I fear that Snap will try to be reinstalled and then apps such as Thunderbird will be converted and I will have to undo this. I don't fancy that with LTS, but it could happen as I deliberately deviated from the standard. Nothing has been decided yet. I don't actually have to make a decision on the part of Ubuntu until 2034, but I think the hardware will be out before then, but that's another topic. In general, I like to take my time with upgrades. These bring a lot of modernizations and change. The first users of upgrade often discover unknown bugs. I don't want to add these. That's why I'm patient and usually wait several months. A quality that not everyone has, I know, and I can understand it to a certain extent. But I'm fine with it. So, as I said, I'm sticking with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS for the time being. Whether I will upgrade or switch to another distro is still up in the air. What are you doing? Have you also made these changes to your Ubuntu 22.04 system like me? And are you sticking with the status quo for now? Or what's your strategy? I'm curious. If you like this video and if you like in general videos about FOSS and Linux, please leave a free channel subscription. With a thumbs up for the video and the activated bell, I'm very grateful. In the end card, I'll show you two more interesting videos. The first video is about Debian or Ubuntu making the right choice and the second video deals with the topic what could have become of Ubuntu if the mobile Ubuntu Touch solution has not been abandoned. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. Have a nice day. See you soon. Peace.